heading to a unique shoot where I'm hoping to get a couple of nice landscape photos out of it. Everything was looking promising early with high clouds, thin clouds, which you know promotes a, a really nice sunset. Uh, however, I'm still about two hours away from my destination, and the, while the clouds are still high, uh, there's a little bit of blue peeking through some of the thin clouds, but it they just look like they're getting thicker. So the sunset could be something that's just absolutely amazing or just a gray, dreary drop of light. See, the sunset is coming down, but I am at the site known as America Stonehenge, and that's what you see here. There's four pillars with script on them. There's one language on each side, a center pillar that holds the capstone. You can see different languages throughout, and what this does is describes what the remaining human race should do in case of apocalypse. Uh, but you can see what I was shooting for is to get the sunset along with what's called the Georgia Guidestones. There was a lot of work and effort put into this. And I'll describe that as we go forward. But everything on here is done for a purpose. Anyway, I gotta get some shots. So, enjoy the sunset. I'm not trying to do anything special with it, no long exposures. Uh, shooting ISO 400 on the D850 at ISO 400 is when the backlit sensor comes into play. So, um, should have minimal noise at that and should be perfectly sharp. Um, shooting at F5, which gives me an adequate depth of field with the 15 to 30 lens and I'm shooting it about 22 millimeters and just look at the sky back here that's what I was hoping to get with some colors through here uh, but I'm gonna just take some various shots again I won't I'm probably gonna catch some once the Sun goes on down as well but I'm looking for uh, some stock shots that I can send to agencies as well as some from our personal portfolio and possibly sell So that's where we stand um, A couple other things I got this light here that shines on the monument on the guidestones and I got the tower in the back so I'm trying to get it angles that It blocks that stuff out, but I still get the colors in the sky now what I'm going for here 
is you can see the composition here on the back of my screen uh, to get the colors in the sky get the guide stones here and try to put a little bit of mystique to it as well so that I can get the proper exposures I am bracketing three shots one stop each and I'm just trying to line some things up with the way the colors are um, note the black that's coming off the top here and here also uh, there's some really strange theories about that but I've got some really good light back here so I need to get these shot see the sun has basically gone down uh, but I just still have some colors in the back you may not see it on here but we've got Venus lined up uh, coming down as well but what I'm gonna do is I've mounted a flash on the camera here and I've got a colored gel over top of it to put a little bit more mystique on the guide stones here show you what I'm talking about real quick. I still got great color but now I've got uh, some color on the monument as well that just to add a little bit something different um, and I've got several different gels that I could possibly play with here. I'm walk back over here to the truck. It's just a beautiful sunset. I mean it, we're 30 minutes past sunset but it's just beautiful out there. Using a dark purple right now. I'll see what else I may be able to play with. I'm going to stop this just a second so I can get my colors out. Well, I still have these pastels in the sky. I'm going to take the purple one off and put a red one on. And let's see if uh, we can't make something else that's kind of neat. Now I'm going to do a quick test shot with the red gel over the flash. I've also got it lined up a little bit where I can see uh, Venus in between the pillars here. So let's see how this works out. I like that and there's Venus and my wording is clear I like that that looks good got my flash on highest power. Let's see how this one will come out for me. I'll wait for these cars to pass off in the background. Here we go. A little bit too overpowering. Let's see if I can get We'll try it at a quarter while well, I still got a little bit of battery left. Better than the last one, 
but I'm losing the color in the sky. One more. Let's see if I got enough. I think we can deal with that. I've had a great time out here tonight. A uh, couple of things I'll show you real quick. Again, we've got the Georgia Guidestones, known as America's Stonehenge. And Kind of cool. I may try to take a shot of it here if I've still got enough battery and shoot back this way just to play with it one more time. But uh, one other thing is underneath here, if you can see it, I don't know if it's bright enough from this light, uh, they have a time capsule buried six feet down. They've been precise on everything from where the North Star is, uh, everything on here. They give exact dimensions uh, down to the pound. Uh, of how much each of the pillars weigh and then the interesting thing is this right here the author is RC Christian and it's a pseudonym but they misspelled Nim and there's a theory that that was done on purpose for everything to be so precise that they were to misspell pseudonym brings a lot of questions to America Stonehenge but I've had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see future content. And we will see you next time.